Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carlson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to how to remove corporate data from Windows 10 devices. Remove corporate data or remove company data from any managed Windows 10 devices. So now let's get started. First, I log into portal.azure.com and I'm going to click on Azure Active Directory here. And under Azure Active Directory, I want to click on Devices. And as you can see, I have all these devices that are Azure AD Joint. And this one is Azure AD Registered. So, and it's also managed by Microsoft Intune. So I can go ahead and wipe remove com company data from any of these devices let's click on it i'm going to click on the first one which is the azure ad register joint oh azure ad registered click on the device and then i have to click on manage Just have to click on the device again. So here are the options available for Windows 10 005 computer. Retire is the first option. Retire mean once I click retire, it's going to wipe the company's data. And it will not remove user data. It's only going to remove company data uh, related data. If I click on it now, I have to confirm. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to remove company data on this device? It says here, this device will only remove data managed by Intune. User data, user personal data is not removed. Blah, 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 blah. And also the applications, if you look here, Any Win32 app deployed using Intune will not be automatically removed from this device. So you have to really be careful with this one. So that's the retire options. I'm going to click no. And the wipe options, it's going to do a factory reset on this computer. If you look here, factory reset return the device to the default setting. This will remove personal and company data. So user data will be wiped with this wipe options. You can choose whether to keep device in role and the user account associated with this device. User cannot revert this action. So here's the wipe this device, but in role state associated with user account. You can select that or you can wipe the device to continue wipe even if devices lose power so if you want to any of these options you can select and click yes so i'm not going to wipe i just want to show you that's the options available for you i'm going to click no and um, another option is delete delete is all it does is just going to delete the computer from Azure Active Directory. If you delete this device, you will no longer be able to view or manage the device. The device will no longer allow to access company corporate resource. So the user will, will not be able to access the company's data from this device once you delete. Click say no. Sync, you can force the sync from that from the device to Azure Active Directory. Restart, you can restart the computer. Fresh start. Cleaning this device will remove preloaded Win32 apps. You can choose whether to retain user data. So um, it's pretty similar to wipe. I'm going to click no. Autopilot is not available because autopilot was not deployed. This machine was not deployed through using autopilot. 
quick scan, full scan. This also updates Window Defender Security Intelligent. This features here. So I'm not using Windows Defender, so I don't have to do anything here. Let's see, full scan. It's going to force the Windows Defender to scan for a full scan and then the quick scan it's going to do a quick windows defender scan so the sake of this video is to wipe company's data which is the either retire or the wipe options so that's it thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a wonderful day